guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Clean the lens because Monkey Pops has been on it. So, welcome back to my channel. I really hope you're all doing well and enjoying the start of what feels like minus 10. I was not ready for that rapid change in temperature. I am fully in autumn mode, fully in autumn winter mode. Ready to get the jumpers out, ready to get the knits out, ready to wear my hair in a bun because who is this? Who is this? Can you remember the last time I wore my hair up like this? It's been a while. I have been rocking the slick back look for way too long now. I thought it was time for a change. So we're going for a bun today. It's like the end of the day. It's nearly Lenny's bedtime. Excuse the lighting because, you know, it's like not even seven o'clock and it's going dark. But here we are, episode two of the renovation vlogs. This is literally the start of the renovation vlogs. Obviously the first episode was the movie vlog and today is episode two, but it's yeah, the start of the renovation and I'm not ready for it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm not ready. There's literally still so much to do as in terms of like unboxing. Um, so the fact that we're already beginning renovating is pretty petrifying, but you know what? We've got to begin somewhere and yeah, this is, this is the start. What I realised in the last vlog was I didn't really do much on Lenny's room and obviously that is the most complete room. So when I go up shortly with Lenny for his bath, we'll do like a quick chat in there and then I'm going to show you our bedroom because that's where we are renovating. Our bedroom is like the start of the major renovation work that needs to take place. So we actually have somebody coming round tonight at half eight to do like a court for us in our bedroom of what we want. So I can give you an update on that after. But yeah, I'm gonna take you upstairs to Lenny's room now and we'll just do a run through of what we've done, where things are from, and yeah, welcome to Lenny's room. Which is terrible lighting, just like the rest of the house, which is just delightful for somebody who needs good lighting for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, etc. etc. So that's just fantastic. We're all on my bedroom being done because trying to get content in a house which is ready for renovation. <laughs> Let's not even go there. And you don't even go there emptying them nappies on the floor. Please, to God, don't do that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Let's do a quick rundown of Lenny's bedroom. Like I mentioned in the last video, if you have watched, a lot of it is the exact same. I'm just going to actually sort this chair out. I'm going to stand in this corner and do a little pan round. Oh, it's so cosy. But it's just so big. It's such a huge room. Um, the carpet will be done, but that's going to be like one of the last things that we do because obviously we're going to probably re-carpet all upstairs, all the landing, one half of the living room. So, yeah, that's going to be done last. Lenny actually has this really, really big built-in wardrobe, which is such a handy thing. We've still got the bookshelf, we've still got the shelves here, still got the same lamp, still got the same bed. This is new, that is from B&Q, it was £90. And the cushion, I could not even tell you, but it was also from B&Q. Alex's nan picked this rug up, bless her, but because this room is so huge, I've just put it there for now. I mean, it does look cute, because obviously that area looks cute. But when you come into the room, because it's such a huge room, I mean, it doesn't look too bad, does it? I need some more bits. What What do you guys think? I feel like I need something there. I need something there. Maybe stuff on the walls. Cause it just feels a little bit bare right now. What are you doing? Uh, uh, you got the likes of Cal as well. Let me just turn the football commentary off because I'm pretty sure you won't want to listen to the Macclesfield FC commentary. So one second. Okay. Yes, it has been a week <laughs> since I last picked this camera up, but it is what it is. It is what it is, um, but I am going to finally, finally show you the progress that has been made in the bedroom, which to you guys won't look that much, but to us, like, things are in motion and I am excited. But I'm just going to grab my tea first, just made some chicken. Made some chicken, tender stem broccoli, and some sort of like healthy egg fried rice, and also prepped my lunch for tomorrow. It's not all that appetizing to be fair, but I'm trying to be good. I'm trying so hard to be good. Yeah, I'm gonna grab my tea now, 
And then as soon as I've done that, I'm gonna take you upstairs and I'm gonna show you what's going on in the bedroom. Okay, so here was this, a big built-in wooden wardrobe, which was not the one. So that's gone, that has been ripped out. So Alex has ripped this out. He's actually stripped the wall and that is being replastered very, very soon. I think it's Saturday that it's being replastered and it's now Wednesday, so this weekend. Is it Wednesday? No, it's Tuesday. So this weekend it's being replastered. I don't know if you can even see. That's gotta go. Absolutely no offense if you have that sort of ceiling, but it's just not my taste, so that is going. Now, this wallpaper is also going, and I am seriously debating stripping it right now, just beginning to strip it because, oh, I could just listen to the football and start make a start to stripping it, and Alex would be very impressed if I did that. I'm gonna do it. This is how it's going. I feel like I'm maybe halfway there now. Up in this angle. So, yeah, that's pretty much halfway. I mean, it is now nine o'clock. But I feel like I've got to keep going now. Like, I can't stop now. This line. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna keep going. Yay! Finished before 10 o'clock. I'm actually so proud of myself. I genuinely am proud of myself. I am impressed that I have stripped this full wall within, what's that, like 90 minutes? Well, I think I'd already started listening to Alex's game. So probably in like an hour and a half, I have done the full wall. So, purple wall <laughs> explains the purple curtains. Oh my god, I can't wait to do this room. I am so excited. I can't decide if to show you now what it's going to look like or oh, just wait till it's done. I'm going to give you a, a little rundown of the vibe quickly. Why the hell not? You're going to see it at the end of this video anyway. But this colour scheme is the vibe. Oh, it's really neutral. Don't know why that's in there. You can get the gist there. We're gonna also be getting panelling on the back wall like that. So you'll see that very soon. This is tonight's setup. <laughs> I'm not gonna actually say what I think it looks like on my YouTube, but I'll leave that to your imagination. So yeah, we no longer have a bed. I'm sleeping on the floor on a mattress. Well, hello guys. It has been a good couple of weeks since I last picked the camera up for this video. Um, I'm actually off to being cute, so I thought this would be a good time to do a little house update. I will show you the bedroom when I do get home because obviously things have developed. It's been a little bit of a slower process than we initially thought it was going to be, just because things went wrong, as they always do with house renovations. But we are still working on the bedroom because obviously this is the bedroom episode and when i show you you're probably gonna be like chloe that's not much of an update but if you knew the process that had been underway in that bedroom to get to just where it is now you would be like oh yeah that is quite a big update so obviously i will give you a little rundown here but i'll be able to go in more depth when i'm actually in the bedroom but basically when i last checked in with you guys we had someone come round to give us a quote for the plastering and he came around and did that the cupboard where the cupboard was that was no issue to plaster that was literally a quite easy job for him but then because of the ceiling is it artex artex something like that the ceiling's called and um, that was pretty hard to skim over so he tried to skim over it that didn't work and then we had to say we they had to uh plasterboard it alex's dad bless him help with that it's just such a trooper he literally helps with everything um, so yeah, it's been a lot longer than we thought it were going to be, but you know what? This is what we signed up for. This is what we knew it was going to be like. So yeah, it didn't go smoothly, but now we're back on our way and I'm about to park in a disabled space. So let's go and find another one. Um, but yeah, I've come to me and Q. So 
we are near enough ready to do the wallpaper in no why did I, why did I say wallpapering we are nearly ready to paint we're not wallpapering so I've come to pick up some samples because I genuinely feel like when you put the colours on like a piece of lining paper on the wall it looks so different to what the little showy bits look like in store so I'm gonna go and pick up a few different samples which aren't cheap anymore by the way they're literally like three four pounds for like a sample that big which is a bit of a rip off because I'm sure they used to be free ones at the time it amazes me how big these stores are there's literally everything I actually need this for my makeup desk because how stunning. It's meant to be 150, and it's now 65. Like, beautiful. It's just started raining, so don't mind the rain in the background. But did I just spend £15 on four samples? Yes, I did. Why is paint samples so expensive? I am almost positive they used to be free. Or am I making that up? Like, did they used to be free? Anyway, I'm going to show you what I picked up. So if you remember back to a little bit earlier in this vlog, um, I showed you a picture of what the bedroom's going to be like. So, I've had to go on the hunt for the darker shade and um, the lighter shade for the wall. So the panelling that I showed you is going to be the darker uh, brown and then the rest of the wall is going to be like a creamy, almost white tone. So I picked up two of the darker brown and two of the creamy colour. So I've picked up the Dulux Heart Wood um, and then I actually picked up the rest of the samples from like B&Q's own paint range which is well expensive but Dulux hardly had any of these samples in which made my life pretty difficult and I wanted to take some samples home because we literally need to buy the paint this week. Um, so then I also picked up this shade, however... Can you see that? Can you see that to that? That is not that shade. So I didn't actually pick this up. I got this last second as I was running out because she showed me this once it had been mixed and I was thinking, that is not dark like that. So I went and picked this one up in case that isn't dark enough, which looking at the pot, unless it dries super dark, that ain't gonna be it. This may be too dark. I don't know, we'll see. And then the lighter shades that I picked up Obviously it's hard to tell because they are so similar on the camera but I picked up these creamy shades. Obviously you can see this one is a little bit darker than that one and look how stunning they look. Oh, I'm so excited. There's no point opening the lids and showing you because they are quite similar but once I get them on a little bit of lining paper after and put them on the wall I'll show you. Okay so this tone was this one that looks so different on there because it actually looks like it's got a pinky undertone so that is not being used so these two tones are very similar i think that one's going to be too white i think they look the best together but i don't want the room to be too dark but that ended up being a really good match once it was actually once i shook it Mama. that is horrific Mama. oh you want to speak you want to say aya <laughs> Aya? <laughs> You're cute. Aya. Aya. Isn't this a stunning backdrop for us? Beautiful. Beautiful. Are you excited? Can I take your duddy now? It's one of them days where he's not forgiving his dummy up. Right. So, you all saw that I stripped this last week or the week before. The ceiling has been skimmed, boarded, skimmed again. Um, Lenny, I shouldn't really let you down in here because it's very dangerous because of the uh, rod, the carpet grips. Right, while he's on the bed, it's fine. Still on the uh, <laughs> on the floor, bed's not even made probably because what's the point? This is obviously where the cupboard is. This is so nice and smooth now. It blends really nicely. So, that's what we're up to right now. Obviously, it's like a building hey, site. Hey. Lenny's going through mummy's makeup. It's a mess. Wood. <laughs> ah! But the good news is, my brother's actually coming soon to measure the wall because he's doing the panelling. It's actually such a big wall. Like, I didn't realise until I've just come up and thought, actually, that's a lot of wood that's needed. I'm going to show you these colours in the light. So, these will be on this wall. 
And the dark one, I'm panicking that it's too dark now, that I've seen it in the light. But we're definitely gonna go for that cream on the right. I just don't know if that's too dark. I feel like it could look really good, but I don't want it to be too dark. The whole vibe of the room, I wanna keep really, really light. So now I'm a little bit worried, but I definitely love the cream tone. That is 100% being used in the whole room because I don't want the walls white. I want them sort of off-white, more creamy tone. But yeah, I don't know if that, it's just a little bit dark. I don't know. By this point, I have spent about 30 pounds on paint testers, which is not okay, is it? No, it's not. No, oh my God, Lenny's about to go outside because the dog's outside. Come on in. Yeah, so I can't find the right shade that I'm after. So here is my little sample sheet. I'm gonna try and show you all while I'm here. This one, this one, and these two lighter shades are what I've already showed you all. This is the one that I really, really wasn't keen on. Um, but I've picked up a couple more since then. Maybe I'm gonna flip you around because you can't even see me. This is the one that I picked up from B&Q, which I showed you all, which is definitely, definitely too dark. Then I picked up this one the other day. It's gray. Didn't look like it was gray on the top. Um, and then today I have been, right, this is the one that's going on the rest of the wall. So it needs to match this one. So I picked these two up today. That isn't, that, that is that. This one was Toasted Beige from Johnston. Johnston's, Johnson's, whatever that says. That is looking more grey now, it's dried. This is stunning cookie dough, but I don't know if it's a little bit, dare I say it, a little bit like, <laughs> can't even say let me just let the dog in. On there, is it a bit pooey? Why does my son want to play with dog food? Why? This is really nice and it does suit this really well. There is just one more um, Dulux sample that I've been trying to get hold of. Can I get hold of it? No, I can't. Been so many different places and I can't get hold of it. And I can't even think what it's called now. But once I see it um, on the sample yeah. thing, you know, like, my phone ringing. Yeah, I need to try and go back this week. I can't deal with myself. Why? Why am I like this? Yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to go back and find that sample. And then I can compare it to that cookie dough one, which I do really, really like. But I just want to try that other one just to like rule it out. Guys, the purple one's gone. Listen, I'm sorry. We're sorry. It is first thing in the morning, that's why. This is the appearance right now, but I have to show you that the purple wall is no longer. I feel like my bedroom is finally coming together and oh, I can't go to my excitement. My brother is currently up there starting the panelling. Oh, I'm literally buzzing about it. I'm so excited. I'm going to get the paint today, so I feel like probably by the end of this week, we'll probably have a complete bedroom. Well, decoration wise, then we always need to get a bed, carpet, Etc. Etc. You pushing it, baby? Wow. So if you remember, I saw this chair the other day. We've literally been searching high and low for it, but we found it, didn't we? Uh, and Mummy's got it. So we did fifty quid. Depends which mate you get. Get the, the smaller one I want. I'm aware the lighting is horrific. It's a very, very, very dull day outside, but I have to give you an update. This is probably the most movement we've had since I started this episode because as you can see, the panelling is done, just ready to be painted now, which Alex's dad is coming to do this afternoon. You can see the panelling is done. If you have me on Instagram, I put these two shades ignore the purple curtain. Let me switch around actually. I put these two shades on my Instagram story. Now, they, they do look very similar in this light, but this one actually has a purple undertone, which is the one that everyone <laughs> bought it for. So I'm really sorry, but I think we're actually gonna go for this one, this warmer tone. But as you can see, I have bought so many more samples yesterday because I just didn't know if they, any of them was the right one. 
I actually tried that Egyptian cotton, which obviously is so similar to the cream on the walls. But I think I will pick up a bottle of this. It's called something latte. Maybe use that on the landing or something because I love that colour. But these two are the ones that we're going for, which is cookie dough. I honestly have about a million pots of these. The decorating has been done near enough. The we're getting new doors very, very soon. We've got a lovely cream colour on the walls. This is the panelling from this view, obviously. <laughs> Ignore that, but my brother has done such an amazing job. We have new sockets, which I love, and light switch. The carpet is getting done next week, I think. So hopefully by next week, I will have a completed episode for you guys because this has been about four weeks in the making, this episode. <laughs> it is a slow process, you know, when you do a house up, it literally takes ages because obviously you're getting different people in all the time. So also, I don't know if I ever showed this, but if you remember, the cupboard was here and my brother actually came over fit new skating yesterday because he's an absolute gem of a human. Alex's dad has been decorating. He is just literally an angel sent from above. Um, so he's coming to paint this. Guys, excuse my makeup. Literally got setting powder under my eyes. Cause I'm about to film a haul, okay? But there's no way I could not show you what's just arrived. Our bed! Our bed's just arrived. You can't even tell how gorgeous this colour is. It's cream and it's like, oh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like velvety almost. Oh, I'm obsessed! I feel like not everything's here though. I mean, it's gotta be in it. The guy knows what he's doing. Wait till I show you upstairs, okay? You are gonna be well impressed how much of an improvement there has been. This has been going on for so long. I cannot wait to get this video up for you guys. Honestly, I am so excited. Also behind here is our new wardrobe. It's just so exciting. Guys, it's time to finally show you the room transformation. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm just so happy with it. And let me just prompt you on here before I give you a big reveal. So don't run the crowbar in the background. <laughs> but before I give you a little, I say a little, I'm gonna show you a big transformation video in a second. There is still a few like final touches, but you know what? I can't wait any longer to show you all because it is getting beyond a joke now how long this video has took. So it's near enough there. So to be honest, I am gonna show you because I'm talking like a few pillows need adding, a light shade needs adding. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Da, da, da. No, stop. It's so stunning. It is so stunning. Now the light is, the sun's shining really, really bright today. So I'm gonna just like quickly talk about things in the room just so you know where things are. Guys, I'm just not a gal that irons the bed in, so. A throw over the top is how it is in this in this house. So let's start with the content area. So this isn't actually finished yet. So in this corner here will be like a big, I don't know what you call it really, like a unit which is going to have nice little ornaments on and stuff. But the chair is one of my favourites. This is from B and Q, which you will have seen in this video. So I don't know why I'm saying that. And I picked these up from. B&M, gosh, the sun is so bright. And then actually the day I put this up, Molly May actually shared it on her story. So well, if it's good for Molly May, it's good for me, you know? And then a little candle to go with it. And then I am waiting to get something on this side and maybe a little bit pampas. Now this mirror is from the old house, but to be honest, this mirror, hey, this mirror actually, it does suit the vibe, but I want something a little bit more plain, as big as that, but Maybe not all this around the edge in, but still stunning. And then the bedside cabinets I picked up on Marketplace and I just painted them white so they look so much better now. And then the lamps I picked up from B&Q, which I am trying to get the light shade to match the colour of them, but I just can't find it anywhere. And then the bed, I'm just waiting for two bigger pillows at the back there. That's why that needs, I just need something bigger behind it. But the bedding is matte lamp. This long cushion is Matalan, and then these ones are B&M, which looks so expensive. If you remember, we had this wardrobe in the old house, but we had to rebuy it because when we moved in, we just couldn't fit this up the stairs, so we had to go and rebuy it, which is very annoying. And then these curtains, which are my absolute favourite, the quality of these, honestly, is incredible. They are so thick, they completely black out the room, 
They are from the range and then the pampas. Stunning. That whole display there is from a shopping clayton, which I will tag below because that is the nicest pampas grass ever. So fluffy. And it also came with this for £20. The whole thing was £20. We're also still waiting on our blinds, which are from Blinds to Go, which are taking forever and a day, shall I add. But, you know, it'll be worth the wait because they will really finish off this room. So, yeah, we're, we're literally... I'm just in love. I genuinely am in love. I've just actually filmed a little TikTok video sat there in my content area and the backdrop... The backdrop was just everything. Let me just take a little seat just to, you know, close the vlog off. That is going to go ahead and finish episode two of the renovation vlogs off. Honestly, thank you for sticking around to the end because this has been a long video. Probably one of the longest that I've done, to be honest. <sighs> I just feel so happy. Honestly, in here is like my little happy place, you know. It's just somewhere I come now and I just feel so happy in here. And obviously, like I say, it's not finished. There is still a few bits that I need doing. But it's close enough to show you all, do you know, like... The things that I'm going to add, I could probably show you in another vlog. Guys, I didn't mention the carpet. How stunning is my green carpet? I mean, you probably saw it at the start, but I had to mention the carpet because I can't lie to you, the carpet is one of my favourite parts of the room. If you don't already, please hit subscribe. Honestly, I appreciate you all so, 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 so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to know anything. Just comment down below if you want to know absolutely anything. And the next episode will be downstairs, which is starting anytime soon. I feel like I've just got my head around this room, so now it's time to decide <laughs> colours and stuff for downstairs, which I'm just not mentally prepared for. But it's a house renovation, you know, I've got to got to get on with it. But I'm just going to insert some clips now of like before and after just to recap. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.